Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. In this video tutorial, I am going to be transforming this skirt, going out a little bit, the pencil skirt, into a soft kind of slouchy clutch bag. And um, I haven't done anything like this before. I have made bags before. Um, I don't necessarily use the kind of traditional methods of bag making. I just use fashion sewing techniques. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, we're gonna have a go at making this into a clutch. Um, it will be a case of that it will be and we'll be experimenting because I haven't done anything like this before. <laughs> and I've got one or two ideas. I mean, I've, I've had a good five, 10 minutes having a look to see how I can con construct this. And I've got one idea that I'm going to be going ahead with. And hopefully that will take me right to the end. I don't think I'll have to rethink anything, but let's just see <laughs> and let's get started. And I've got a couple of things I want to show you that I'm going to be putting in the bag to give it a bit of structure. Because um, this used to be a skirt. Listen to noise a bit. It's a waxy skirt. So it will definitely be good for making a bag, that's for sure. Um, more than that, she as a garment, I think. Not around in that, no. <laughs> But I am not going to, I'm going to try my best not to cut anything away from this. So this is going to be a zero waste project, which is a bonus. That is excellent if I can manage to do that. And it's going to have some fascinating, because I'm keeping the zip in here, but it's not going to be a functional zip as such. Maybe it probably be, will be. Um, let's just see how it goes. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do my best not to cut anything away from this skirt. Really do my best. Uh, but I will be adding a bit of structure at the top of a waistband here. It's got a grown on waistband. And I think I'll probably have it that way actually. Because I do like this feature here, this yo that's happening there. So that will most likely be the front of the clutch. And I'm going to be putting some of this in here. What it is, it's table mats, it's plastic. Um, I don't know. Um, but that should hopefully, that should hopefully, that will be going into the, I'll put it that way, into the top of the skirt waistband area. So that will give it a little bit of structure when I'm holding it and when I'm opening it up. Actually, that's some structure. Okay, that's decided. So I will be doing that. And I will be adding some kind of thick interfacing just to help give it a bit more body because I do want it to feel as though when you are carrying it, you can feel as though you're carrying something, if that makes sense. Because if I just didn't put anything in there, it would be so limp and it wouldn't feel, you know, as though, it's hard to say it wouldn't feel as though it's a push bag. It just needs to add a bit of structure and shape. So I'm going to put some of that in and it is referred to as heat bond, fusible heat bond. And I put a link to this um, in the description. So. If you're interested, um, you can go along and have a look and click on that link. So I'm going to bring the camera down so you can see where I'm going to start. So we've got, I don't, I was thinking about maybe putting a zip in along the top, but I think that's going to be quite difficult because I'd rather have this added to that section there. Um, and if anything in order to close because I'm, I'm going to need some kind of closure it'll just be a snap and I've got um, a snap to put on there so let's just see how it, let, let, let's just see how this goes I'm quite excited to look forward to see how I'm going to do this um, so I'll show you I've been the camera down so I'll show you the ideas that I've got 
So this is the back of the skirt. This more interesting detail here. If you flip it over to the front, it's just darts, small darts. Going back to the back of the skirt, it also has a vent and it's also lined, which is a bonus, which is going to be great. And what I was thinking was if I put, if I do it in half, so it's going to be quite a large one. So that means I would have to, I'm not going to sew this down, not just yet anyway. I'm going to pull the skirt into itself like so. So I've literally got half of the skirt. So it's starting to look like a slouch foot already, isn't it? It's going to be a noisy project. This. I think that's gonna work. Right, so it's going into it now. So as you can see, it's kind of two halves to this bag. So I'm going to have to figure out So we may have to, once I've put the interfacing in, I'll have to work with it this way. And then, how am I going to do this? So I've got an opening there. So it's gonna be two, two kind of compartments. So I'm gonna have a compartment there the middle section is going to be sewn together somehow. I'm going to have a compartment here. Oh yeah, that'll work. Yeah, that'll work. And then I'm gonna have an interesting side detail in which the zip is in the side of the skirt. See if I can make that a functional part of this clutch to make it original and interesting. So I could actually, yeah, can create pockets in here, like secret pockets. Well, not really the secret pockets, because yeah, that could that could happen. So it's the middle. It's the middle that I'm going to have to figure out. The front and the back of the clutch is going to be fine. Give that a bit of body. That really looks gorgeous already. And see if I can keep the yeah secret pocket inside as well. So the first thing, yeah, I'm happy with what's. I think this will work. I really do. It's just figuring out the inside, which is going to be possibly tricky to sew. Now, I, can, I can pull it out, can't I? Yeah, I definitely can do that. Put it to the right side. Yeah, it's just a case of me marking halfway. So that'll be better. Put some pins in, marking halfway, and then figuring out this section. What I'm going to have to interface first. First thing, interfacing. Get my interfacing. Just so I've cut two pieces and now I need to press those into place. Aww. Right, the front is going to be really easy. Just in case of just putting it on top and spending a bit of time at the ironing board and iron, pressing that into place. <laughs> but back. Oh, could I get away with this? Um, 
and the lining is sewn to the vent. Oh, I don't want to cut this. Oh, I don't want to unpick. Could I? Right, I'm going to have to work on this while I'm at the ironing board. If I don't have to unpick, I won't. Um, yeah, because I'm not going to be covering all of it because I want this opening to be there. So it will be case to moving it to the side, making a couple of slits and working my way around that with the ironing. And I think I'll be able to do that. Yeah, for sure. So now I just need to press this into place. Looking forward to this. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas for refashioning clothing. If you're into that sort of thing, I definitely think it'd be worthwhile subscribing to my channel. Let's get back to the video. I'm at the stage now where I have put the interfacing on. Um, I didn't, I didn't um, unpick the, the seam, the lining from the vent. Try to figure out whether that is me just being lazy or is it me just trying to, I think it's a bit of both. <laughs> Save myself, you know, a bit of time sewing that up. But, um, but I managed to do it. The tricky part was the front was fine, got that through. But the back was a bit more difficult. One side was easy. And the reason why I've got it in this twisted manner is because putting it on one side of the other vent was a little bit difficult and that really just depends on the width of your ironing board. My ironing board is quite wide um, so the narrower it is the less hassle you will have applying the basin to it because that's how much work that's how much I had to work with so it wasn't wide enough um, but I got there um, but no it was fun I got there got um, thinking time which is good as well um, as I'm trying to work myself through this project as you can see there's little ears here and that's because it's you know it's um, the curve of the skirt but that's fine I don't need to cut that away just yet and let me just pull this to the right side chew with this bit, couldn't I? <laughs> the amount of noise it's making. Oh, that looks nice actually. Yeah, that's a bit more body that's in this gate now. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's nice. So, yep, yeah, good shape. I'm just get it into the vent areas as well. Okay, let me do this in half now, isn't it? Okay, so half this skirt needs to be on the inside like so. Oh, that's looking nice. That's looking like a bag already, isn't it? I think that really has helped to, to give it some body. That's really good. Yeah, and that's gonna work. So the next step is to put some clips, some snaps, I should say, on each side. So what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna quickly sew just across there. So I'm sewing the vent, the hemline of the vent closed, but I still have access to getting inside because it'd be interesting to see how that turns out and then get my snaps on before we put what do you have to put me about you know i don't even think because it's quite sturdy i don't even have to put any plastic in the top part of it actually you know i just hmm okay and what I'm thinking is that it's given it a lot of body and I think maybe it has something to do with the fabric. And if I put some more at the top here, I probably won't need this 
plastic at the top. Because mm. if I do decide to put this in, it just means I'll have a row, I'll have to sew this in place there. But I'm liking how this is feeling. I still. Oh, how just love it. It may not happen. So let's go back to what I said before. I'm going to sew down the vents, get my snaps in place, and then just take it from there. And I may just put some more, yeah, facing in this section, a top part. We'll do that. Okay, to the sewing machine I go. I've sewn the vent closed, and now it's for the stage of where I need to put the snaps on. These are magnetic snaps. before I sew the lining down. And I'm going to put the, the plastic in the top just because I want to see if it works. I have worked with this before. I have put it into my bags. So I know it does offer a lot of structure. Um, so I am going to put a section at the top for both the back and the front but I need to get these snaps on first before I do that. Um, let me see. I'm sure I do have a video tutorial on how to put these on. So it will be a case of putting one, just making little slits in there and there, and then just putting that onto it and then folding these little prongs here into each other, or it could be the other way. Yeah, away. These bongs will go that way, and that one will go that way. So it's just a case about making little marks in order for that to happen. So I'll have to get my little scissors, which I'll. Yeah, that's good. And let's do the other side. Okay. All the snaps are in place. Okay, they're in place. That's the inside. And this is the outside. It's looking nice, isn't it? Okay. So, because this is skirt, and this is the waistline, hip area, and then it goes straight down. There's a lot of fullness inside, as you can see. So I'm just turning this way around, perhaps. Take it to the inside. See, this is a fullness that I'm going to have to get somehow into the inner side of the bag. And it would just be a case of just creating a couple of pleats like that on each side. And that will help with keeping the shape of the bag as well. I'll just place it on, give it a quick tuck there, set that in place and on the other side and then that will happen on that side as well and on the other side as well and that will just help to keep the bag in and um, give it a little bit more added shape but that'll be, that's not the next step, the next step will be to return to the right side it's just on the inside Right, so this is going to be the eventual size of the bag when it's complete, the clutch. So after I said I'm going to put the elastic, not the elastic, why am I thinking elastic? <laughs> um, some of that plastic on the top, this side and also on the back. 
um, and then I'm going to stitch that into place before I start working on the inside so this stays in place. Um, but let me just focus on this first because I have decided that I want to put the plastic in the top section of here on the front and back so let's use this as a template for cutting that out um should i just go straight across because I'm, go I'm going to have to stop tops top stitching is going to be added to the front okay because this needs to stay inside there so i need to secure it in there I should follow this shape but on the other side just the darts so if I come there and I can do another row of stitching like that I suppose let's just cut this out first okay see if we can get the shape I've got two so it's a case of then inserting it into the skirt so in between the lining and the area in which I've interfaced take it all the way up to the waistline I think that'd be okay. I need some pins to we just open this zip. You can see it's just sandwiched in between the lining. Putting that into place. Yeah, that feels okay. We did some pins. It's just a case of feeling to make sure that it's snugly. Is that weird? That it's nice and in position. Like so. Just making sure that it's coming right to the edge here, holding it in place and then putting a pin in. I suppose it could be easier if I just did a casing isn't it? But it's then having to find a way of threading this up through. Would it be possible doing a casing? Absolutely. I'm going to try this method because I haven't done this before. I'm not going to call it a lazy method, I'm going to call it an easy method. <laughs> okay. That feels nice. Yeah, that feels nice and firm and in place. And it's a case of when you take it to the sewing machine, you do have to when you've got your pins to guide you and where to stitch because it's quite flat just to make sure you don't stitch into it if you do have a fear of that then it'd just be a case of creating a casing right let's see that's the sewing machine see if that works so i've got it in position on my sewing machine now and it really is just a case of going slowly taking the pins out as you go along Let's see how it looks on the right side, on the wrong side, I should say. Yeah, it's okay. So the 
Oh, it's looking gorgeous. It really is. This is the wrong side. And you can see how confirm that is. Yeah, that's really done the job. Yeah, that's what I wanted. It feels a lot more sturdy. And that's what I wanted. So, yeah. That's really nice. This is the back. This is the front. I've also sewn the lining down as well. That's really good. One or two problems, one or two issues that I can easily resolve. Let me just turn it to the right side. It's just the way I've sewn I'm sewing. So for the zip that's happening here. It only goes as far as there. So I'm going to, because I actually accidentally stitched onto the actual zip itself. So I'm going to um, unpick that and then do a little bit of hand sewing there to, to be able to zip this through properly. The other side is fine. Absolutely fine. That's fine, just need to cut away those threads. And yeah, it's all nice in position. Let me just show you the back. So I stitch it all nicely there. No pluckers to deal with. But I would have had a little bit of a plucker here. So I, I stopped stitching there and I'm going to do this by hand. So I'll only get a really tiny one just there. If I continue by continued using the sewing machine in order to do that, it would have caused a really big ugly sight like that, something like that. So this is one of the tricks that people don't realise when you come, if you are really inept with using hand, hand sewing, it can solve a lot of issues that you can't achieve with the sewing machine. So I'm happy with the results of that. So let me just see, but I'm just going to quickly just cut away those threads there. I want to close this and just release released the um, stitching from the zip tee. I did by accident. I should be able now to close that. Yes. Just means I've got to go in there and do some hand sewing, which I'll do a bit later. I won't do that now. Yes, it's nice. Okay, so now just open that. Up. It's about doing the pleats, isn't it? At the sides, which will give it a lot more body. Oh, this is looking gorgeous. I'm looking by itself. <laughs> it's looking scrumptious. So we've got that side, which I'll be able to put something in, and this side as well. Right, so let's turn it to the side. Let's get these tucks put in there, and then it's just a case of sealing the middle, so it becomes a functional slouchy clutch bag. I'm just thinking now that I've done that. If I stitch wrong there and stitch wrong there and also on the other side. Right, before I do that, I'm going to take these out and start again because I want to get the inner side, the inner connected somehow. So let's work on that before I do this. Okay, I've taken the pins out. So this is the red side. And this is going to be the length of the clutch. So 
Like I said, I need to connect the middle section here. So we're going to be sewing, yeah, doing some machine sewing that into place. Oh. Yeah. So let's see how far. So this. Hmm. So if I sew in a rectangular shape like that, that should do it, shouldn't it? Yeah. Let's see how far I'm going to come down. Come on, 20 centimetres. Thereabouts, it, it doesn't have to be that accurate. Okay. I'm going to cross them then that way. Yeah. So, I'll bring it to the wrong side. Yeah. That feels good actually having the um, plastic in the top. So, right. I'm going to here. It's in there. Right, roughly about there. So I'm going to sew straight down, across, and then up. And then there'll be a little pocket on the inside, which the world has created. Okay, that's great. Now I just, as overzealous with the iron here, I wanted it to look as nice and neat as it does on that side. I think I will be able to get that peeled off, but not now. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do and that should hold it in place. Yeah, so all the way around there and also along the top as well. That should do it. Okay. Yeah. This is just going to be straightforward. Yeah, take to my sewing machine, start here. And all the way across the bottom. Okay, that's done. I'm excited. Okay, so it's created a little, where the vent was on the skirt, it's created a little pocket and also a little Put it around you. You have to get round this kind of area, <laughs> this corner, to get into another little pocket. So make this side a bit bigger than that side, just because it's easier access to that little secret pocket. And I'll, I'll, I'll do some hand stitch now. I'll just bring that up there a little bit, so nothing, I can put some in if the group fall out. So that's cute. Okay. So now we need to get this the right way. So it's hot, isn't it? So look, that's the bottom of the bag already. There you go. A slouchy clutch. <laughs> All I need to do now is just to get the inside sorted. That's worked out pretty well. Okay, so let's now bring this to the right side. I hope this works. Um, Good job the zips there actually <laughs> it makes it easy to turn it out. So it does serve a purpose. Right. Is this gonna work? I don't think this is gonna work.
Okay. I've sewn those into place just across the top. It was possible to do that even though I had a small working area, but it was possible. And my secret pocket on the side, the front. I just push that down. Play with the bottom a little bit. There we go. Yeah, it stands up on itself. It stands up by itself, yes. Yeah. So now, like I said, I'm, I'm, I am actually going to go ahead and hand sew that in position. These are sticking out, so you, you definitely want to hand sew. Is it possible? I wouldn't, I wouldn't machine sew possibly. You may be able to if you kept an edge stitch going all the way around, so you're not cut, so you're not stitching into the plastic. But I'm going to hand sew mine, so I've got it to there. So I'm going to put some clips here. It's got to make sure I can get into, it, isn't it? To the bag section, I don't want it to be too open and too revealing. Yes and that side as well and then we'll put some things into it to see there and there and there oh yeah i've got plenty that's the inside And the other compartment. So there's two compartments. Like I said, those will be sewn sewn down by hand. Let me see what I can get into there. I'll just put a few of my stuff on my studio in there for now. And let's put one in here. Oh yes, enough room to put anything in there. Tape measure. Let me just try and see, yeah, get a book in there, see if we can get a book in there. Yes. Yeah. A slouch, too much crack. That's going to be the back. I've chosen this as a front because of this detail here. But then that's, that, that works. Once I get these sewn into place, that's fine. Okay, I'm just going to model it for you and see what it looks like. Here it is. I still cut the items in there. <laughs> what is it? It's coming. The, the, having the plastic at the top was definitely good because I, I can feel as though. Um, I've got more manageability on the bank, that makes sense. And yeah, it's it's a real slouchy clutch. So I've got a bit of hand sewing to do later on. But no, I'm happy with the results of that. And that side. And the bottom of it. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah, it feels comfortable. It really does. I think so I'll be able to manage whatever I put into there without having a handle. And yeah, like I said, I can actually actually hold it like this and still feel comfortable. Obviously you wouldn't put a lot in there, would you? Really? Anyway. Um, but no. That's looking good. So cute. Tips and advice. Be careful of your choice of fabric. Um, the heavier the fabric, the better. But also be careful that if you use a heavier fabric, 
when it comes to doing the inside of the garment, it may be a lot chunkier and thicker, you know, if you need to go through. So do pay attention to that. Remember, you may have to do some hand sewing as well. The chance you can get a skirt that's already got lining in it, that would be very advisable. But if not, then it would be a case of just lining your skirt out flat on top of the lining fabric and just cutting that out and just attaching it to the waistband or the basing. And then, you know, it's easy to work with that way. But it is, it is advisable. I would say it's definitely your job will be a lot easier if you actually bought a skirt or re or refashioning a skirt that's already got lining in, in there. As for the plastic, yeah, at one point I was going to go ahead with it because my fabric was quite sturdy in itself, but I'm glad I made that choice. And the reason why I'm glad I made that choice is that when it comes to handling the bag, I feel as though I've got more to handle. Yeah, right. <laughs> I've got more to hold up. I've got a firmer grip. That's the phrase I'm looking for. I've got a firmer grip of the actual bag than if I didn't have it in there. So I'm glad I went for that. Um, but if you don't want that, then it's best to kind of double up that particular area with the facing just to make it a bit more thicker and give you, the, give you a bit more body. But it worked. Um, I'm happy with the results. So I would say definitely have a go. Um, what else? Needle choice, make sure you be careful of that. And also think about how you are going to do the inner sides here in order to achieve that. But it, it worked out. I've got a lot of things in there. Um, it's not too open. Um, it's going to be your choice for how open you wanted to do that. If you didn't want it the way I did, where I'd sew down the, the inner section, you can do it on the sides here possible to do it there and so you've got a wider area in which to um, play around with but no we've got a bit of spine no I'm happy with that so, so if you enjoyed this video tutorial then please give it a thumbs up and please do share with your friends and also on your social media as well and if you have any comments about this um, tutorial then please do put those in the comment box below and I will see you next time and thank you for watching